Hey guys, what's up? Hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a Vredial progress bar in Adobe Premiere Pro just like this one. So let's get started. So here in Premiere Pro, I have already made a project and I have made a new sequence. Now I want to make a progress bar here. To make a progress bar, you need to select this tool which is ellipse tool. Just click here, select it, then go to your program panel, then click and drag your mouse cursor. If you want to make a perfect circular shape, then you can press shift to make it a perfect circle just like that then select the selection tool and then you can position your circle in the middle of your program window if you want to place it in the perfect middle then you can just go to window then select essential graphics then this panel will appear select shape one then just click vertical center and horizontal center then it will place your shape in the middle of the program window now i want a circular progress bar that is the reason i want to apply a stroke on my shape to apply in stroke you need to go to here which is appearance deselect the fill because we don't need the fill color just deselect it then enable stroke then increase or decrease the stroke size as your likings i am just making it 100 if you want to increase it more then you can just add another stroke and then you can just increase the stroke size here and also you need to change the color to match it with the previous stroke I don't like this much stroke that is the reason I'm just deleting it now I need to go to effects panel go to window then enable effects then search for whip then you will get a effect which is redial whip just click and drag your redial whip on top of your shape layer now go to window then enable effects control panel then this panel will appear then go to redial whip section then go to in the beginning of your shape layer now enable keyframing here which is toggle animation on the transition completion option then go to here and you can just increase the transition completion option to 100 percent now you can click and drag this keyframe at the end of your shape layer now if i play it then you'll say the progress bar is working perfectly so this is a clockwise progress bar if you want a counter clockwise progress bar then you need to select counterclockwise from here then if i play it back then you'll see this is a anti-clockwise progress bar so that is the way that you can follow to make a rounded progress bar in adobe premiere pro so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel and want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye